Hey, what's going on, y'all? Sorry about my voice. I'm getting over a little um, cold or whatever. But um, <clears throat> I want to make a quick video. Ooh, this ash. I want to make a quick video on um, how to read a permit, oversize of a weight permit. Right? So what I'm going to do is since I don't see there any, I don't see any, uh, I see an email address on him. I don't see anything else that's pertinent information on here. Okay, so outside of the email address I see on here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to turn this video around, and then we're going to go from right, there. So we got it turned around, right? And this is a... This is a uh, permit from Arkansas issued today. At that time, issued by that person that works in the office with them. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is the carrier ATS. That's our, our information. That's our DOT number, and the fees and how much it costs for this permit here. All right. So the overall dimensions on here, uh, the number of axles. If I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up to thirteen. All right. The total length of the truck and the trailer together, seventy-five feet long. That's how long I'm permitted to be. I can be shorter, but I can't be over 75 feet. I can't have more than five axles. Uh, steer axles is one steer axle. My max width is 10 feet, six inches wide. All right, so I can't be no wider than 10 feet, six inches. Max uh, height says legal. Legal means 13 feet, three inches. Steer axle rating 13,000 pounds. That's how much weight I can put on my steer axle. Front overhang is the uh, <clears throat> what part of the load that hangs over the front of the trailer. All right, so when you see a trailer and you see a part of the load that's over the, over the front of the trailer that's between the trailer and the cab, that's front overhang. Gross weight, the max I can weigh is 92,000 pounds. All right, the type of, the type of uh, equipment that I have, I have a an excavator, that's the serial number for the excavator. Well, actually, that's not the serial number. That's the uh, my trip number, right? Truck, trailer, and everything. Event number, the length of the truck. I mean, the length of the trailer is 48 feet. All right, so meat and potatoes, vehicle configuration, weight. This is axle one, axle two, axle three, axle four, axle five. So steer axle, drive, drive trailer trailer all right so my steer axle i am permitted at twelve thousand pounds which is legal weight number of tires on that axle is two the tire width is 11 inches this is the distance between this axle and that axle 18 feet two inches axle two three four and five are rated permitted at twenty thousand pounds per axle four tires on each axle the tires are standard 11 inches wide. Uh, four feet, four inches between axle two and three. 38 feet, four inches between axle three and four. And then four feet, three inches between axle four and five. All right. My route, my origin, I started in Tennessee. My destination is Texarkana. Texarkana is both uh, in Arkansas and in Texas. It actually splits the border down the middle. All right, so routes traveled. This tells me my directions of where I'm going. These roads, I have to tell you, I cannot deviate from this unless I um, <clears throat> get from, get permission from law enforcement or like there's an accident and they're detouring everybody off the highway. That's the only way I can deviate from the routes traveled. All right, travel restrictions. Allow no other trucks within a thousand feet 
and reduce speed to five miles an hour for this these bridges all right this bridge is right outside of uh little rock on the i i-440 bypass so that i-440 goes from um interstate 40 down to interstate 30. all right so when i get to that bridge i have to slow down to five miles an hour if there's a the uh uh an officer out there, a DOT officer, and I just so happen to be going 10 miles an hour, I can actually get pulled over and get a ticket for it. Um, so, and then down here, they have curfews on, uh, the curfews is pretty much what cities or counties or towns or municipalities I can go through. And the times listed are times that I'm not allowed to drive. And the interstate, the uh, highways, and the times I'm not allowed to actually be oversized and be through those parts of town or whatever. Um, no continuous movement authorized. That's another stipulation. I'm only authorized to move between sunrise and sunset as established by the U.S. Weather Bureau. So what I do with that is I go on the uh, Weather Channel app and look up the sunset and sunrise time. As long as I'm not out of uh, private private as long as i'm not off private property i can drive the truck um once i get off of private property i can't be on a public highway before sunrise or after sunset that's pretty much it on how to read the permit y'all um and there's some more travel restrictions on the back and these are uh construction areas like some states will get put it on the on the permit, other states will put it will give you an app like Missouri. In Missouri, you get an app. I don't have a permit from Missouri though with me right now, but Missouri they give you an app. You know, this Georgia with my route. And some states like Georgia and Alabama, this Alabama up under me, they require the driver to sign the actual permit. If the permit isn't signed, then it's just like you're driving without a permit. So for you guys that are um on here or just getting into this and learning the ropes or whatever and um all the other good stuff make sure you read your permits and everything if you're going to get into oversized loads make sure you read your permits and you know what you need to know uh here at ats they give you a binder they give you a binder and another book uh give you a binder and uh in that bond it has all the um like when it said pursuant to such and such statute of, of this state well in this bond it gives you the general generalizations of what those statutes stay what those statutes states and then uh from there you just as long as you follow it uh rule of thumb though is let's say georgia right georgia says you have to have um, lights on the back in lieu of an escort. If you don't have lights on the back, you have to have an escort vehicle behind you, right? Um, so me, in order for me not to have an escort, I got four flashing lights in the back. And I also got them on top. Georgia also requires you to have a uh, a sticker on the windshield. It's an amber, amber emergency let me see emergency light certification that's exactly what the sticker says emergency light um certification so the rule of thumb is pretty much you know all the states you're going through and then you follow the strictest laws for the states you're going to if you follow the strictest laws you'll be good in all the other states but uh that's a short quick video um y'all I appreciate y'all for watching, looking, subscribing, commenting, liking, and all the other good trash. You know what I'm saying? Continue to support. Continue to support your boy. I'ma holler at y'all.